If you had to guess what perfect matter would look like, how would you describe it? Hello everybody, I'm Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-6959, a very strange FUMO. Let's begin. Item number SCP-6959, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-6959 is to be kept in a vacuum sealed chamber suspended by two surrounding electromagnets kept charged by a constant supply of power. Generators are to be inspected every two days for faults. The object's containment cell is constructed of steel-reinforced concrete, with the only entrance to the cell being a secure airlock requiring clearance for or above permission to be opened. Any unauthorized entrance detected within the cell will be met with immediate termination to prevent a containment failure. Any testing performed on SCP-6959 must be authorized by Site Director Rorins. Description: SCP-6959 resembles a Fumo plush doll of the character Cerno from the video game Embodiment of Scarlet Devil. SCP-6959 has no discernible aesthetic differences from any factory-made doll apart from lacking a tag. The object's makeup consists entirely of strange matter, displaying all hypothesized characteristics associated with the substance. It is currently unknown how SCP-6959 came to have its current appearance. Research regarding its origin in space and how it came to be on a collision course with Earth is ongoing. SCP-6959 presents a significant danger to Earth as any matter it comes into contact with will undergo an instant conversion and be added to SCP-6959's mass. It's hypothesized that SCP-6959 would completely convert the Earth within five hours of initial contact, resulting in an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. Due to the properties of strange matter, Efforts to destroy or cause cellular decay in SCP-6959 have proved useless, and research suggests SCP-6959 could only be permanently removed if jettisoned into a black hole or through the use of paradimensional anomalies. Discovery The earliest record of SCP-6959's existence was a routine NASA drones report on February 17, 2009. It was determined to be on a collision course with Earth. Foundation efforts were requested and SCP-6959 was successfully inserted into a temporary containment unit on March 11, 2022. No origin point for SCP-6959's travel has been determined. Further research is pending. The following is the SCP-6959 file as viewed with clearance level 4 or higher. Item number SCP-6959 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures, No Changes from Lower Clearance Revision Description SCP-6959 resembles a Fumo plush doll of the character Cerno from the video game Embodiment of Scarlet Devil. SCP-6959 has no discernible aesthetic differences from any factory-made doll apart from lacking a tag. The object's makeup consists entirely of strange matter, displaying traits previously hypothesized with the substance. SCP-6959 originates from the fusion of neutron stars RX J1856.5, 3754, and JT J17855.2, 3752. Strangelets expunged during the process formed into SCP-6959, which subsequently came to be on a collision course with Earth. Through the use of procedure Merlin-184, it has been confirmed that SCP-6959 is non-anomalous. Despite this, due to the events outlined in Addendum 6959-A and a unanimous vote from the O5 Council, SCP-6959 will not be classified with an EX appendage. Information regarding the true nature of SCP-6959 is not to be disclosed to anyone below Level 4 clearance. Despite its lack of anomalous characteristics, SCP-6959 still presents a significant danger to Earth, as any matter it comes into contact with will undergo an instant conversion to SCP-6959's mass. It is theorized that SCP-6959 may have the ability to thoroughly convert the Earth within five hours of initial contact, resulting in an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. Due to the properties of strange matter, Efforts to destroy or cause cellular decay in SCP-6959 have proved useless. 
Research suggests that SCP-6959 could only be permanently removed if jettisoned into a black hole or through the use of paradimensional anomalies. Addendum 6959-A The following is a series of events following the research efforts of Site Director Evan Rawrence and temporary co-Site Director Everett Chalmers in relation to SCP-6959. Dr. Rorans was given supervision of experiments regarding SCP-6959, with Dr. Chalmers being assigned to documentation and interpreting information regarding the object. To Dr. Everett Chalmers, from Dr. Evan Rorans. Subject, SCP-6959 Assignment. Good morning, Chalmers. Glad to see we're going to be working together again. It's been a while, hasn't it? Seems I've been given authority over experiments with SCP-6959. You will be documenting our result and overseeing the SCP file. Since we've only recently gotten this thing contained, I'd say it's best for us to not jump the gun here. How about we get a plan drafted out and start tests on Tuesday? Best, Evan. To Dr. Evan Rorans from Dr. Everett Chalmers. Good morning as well. Seems we are working again. I think the last time was in 2009? Sometime around then. I hope the years have treated you well. Your plan sounds good. I'll be seeing you soon and we can begin. Regards, Everett. Test Log 6959A Test 1 Procedure A small amount of hydrochloric acid is poured onto SCP-6959 using an automated dropper. Results The acidic solution was immediately absorbed into SCP-6959's mass. The object sustains no damage. Test 2 an automated flamethrower is used on the object. Results: Gases from the fire are immediately absorbed into SCP-6959's mass. The object sustains no damage. Conclusion It is hypothesized that SCP-6959 either adheres to its indestructible properties or simply absorbs particles too rapidly to sustain damage. To Dr. Everett Chalmers from Dr. Evan Rorans Subject, Results Results from our tests haven't given us much. We can't damage it, and the rate at which it converts matter is staggering. Our best guess currently is possibly some reality-bending shenanigans. I'm ordering some anchors from Site-84. They should get here tomorrow. If you have any suggestions, my ears are open. Thank you, Evan. To Dr. Evan Rorans from Dr. Everett Chalmers. We'll probably see fruit from the reality anchors. This wouldn't be the first time some bender decided to play a practical joke. If those don't work out, try to see if it's some kind of cognito hazard. It could be screwing with us to think it looks a way it actually doesn't. I've had similar assignments to this one. They start out mysterious and spooky, but once you figure out what's going on behind the scenes, all their secrets spill out like an unclogged dam. We'll have this one in the bag in no time. Best, Everett. Test Log 6959B Test 1. Procedure Multiple Scranton Reality Anchors are placed within the containment cell. Results, no observed change in the object. Test 2. Procedure, researcher with a high cognitive resistance value is tasked with describing SCP-6959. Results, researcher's description aligns with those of less resistant peers. Conclusion, SCP-6959 has no discernible reality bending or mimetic effect. To Dr. Everett Chalmers from Dr. Evan Rorans. Subject, lack of results. Good morning. Reluctantly, we have made no progress understanding 6959. No reality bending nor mimetic hazards have been identified. We're going to have to start looking elsewhere for information on the object. Try getting into contact with some field agents. Let's start with interviewing the people involved with the actual doll's creation. Best, Evan. SCP Foundation Agent Automatic Assignment Report Details Due to a lack of progress regarding SCP-6959 research, Foundation units will be investigating those involved with the production of Fumo dolls. Agents will be equipped with hidden recording devices and earpieces with Dr. Chalmers issuing orders. Personnel involved Two agents embedded into popular gaming news website Kotaku and Director Everett Chalmers Date March 18th, 2022 Task: Agents will be asking questions under the premise of a news article related to the sudden spike in popularity of Toho and Fumo dolls. Interview Summary 1 Interviewed Members of the Dojin Circle Angel Type, which is responsible for the original design of the Fumo doll, partnering with the company Gift in order to produce them. 
Notably, the first design was of a different character. Agents begin the interview. Direction from Chalmers lead them to question the creation of the Fumo design and its inspiration. 45 minutes in. Discussion regarding the origin of the design has yielded nothing. Chalmers orders direction of the conversation towards the character Cerno. 55 minutes in. Interviewed are trying to steer the conversation towards other topics. Agents attempt to get further info potentially related to SCP-6959 but fail. One hour in. Interviewed have no knowledge related to the assignment. Agents are ordered to conclude the interview. Interview Summary 2 Interviewed, designer and manufacturer of the first Cerno doll produced. Interview begins, agents question the creative process of the design and how it was created. 45 minutes in, agents continue to press interviewed about the doll. Interviewed are starting to question why they're so interested in a silly looking doll. 1 hour and 10 minutes in, discussion has yielded nothing. Chalmers orders the use of interrogative tactics. 2 hours in, interviewed are becoming increasingly uncomfortable. Chalmers orders agents to pressure them more. 2 hours 45 minutes in, interviewed have no knowledge of value relating to the assignment. The interview is cancelled. Interview Summary 3 Interviewed, creator of Toho, Junya Ota. Interview begins, agents are ordered to direct the conversation to embodiment of Scarlet Devil under the premise that it is their favorite in the series. 30 minutes in, discussion has yielded nothing. Agents direct the conversation towards the character of Cerno and the creative process of designing the character. 1 hour 30 minutes in, Junya has explained the creative process in detail and is trying to steer the interview towards other topics. 2 hours 15 minutes in, after multiple failed attempts to get any more details regarding things related to SCP-6959, Chalmers orders the agents to engage in enhanced interrogation. The order is momentarily challenged, but the agents follow through nonetheless. 3 hours 30 minutes in, nothing has been yielded. 3 hours 35 minutes in, assignment cancelled, subject amnesticized. 2. Dr. Everett Chalmers, from Dr. Evan Rorans, subject Field Agents. Everett, what the heck is wrong with you? Do you really think ordering the torture of an innocent man was acceptable? I understand being frustrated with the lack of progress, really, I get it. That doesn't give you the excuse to do what you did. Have you considered that we're just dealing with an EX in the making here? Nothing we've thrown at it has gotten us anything. None of the people who could have something to do with this have anything worthwhile to give us. All the usual things that could suggest some anomalous screwery haven't been ticked. None of the data we've got shows anything other than some strange quirk of physics. Kind regards, Evan. 2. Dr. Evan Rorans From Dr. Everett Chalmers Evan, we are part of the Foundation. Our job is to save humanity from anomalies while keeping them and ourselves out of public knowledge. SCP-6959 could potentially destroy the entire Earth. If it takes torturing a man to get some info regarding it, then that's what I'll do. Report me to the Ethics Committee if you want. He was amnesticized and given some medical treatment. No harm done in the end. I know physics isn't your thing, but this isn't a quirk of it. The ramifications of this thing being non-anomalous are catastrophic. Strange matter is theorized to have existed at the beginning of the universe. It's thought to be the perfect state of matter. I refuse to believe some nonsense that this is somehow natural. I know you like to act superior in your emails and stuff, but I'm not going to let you strong arm me into denying basic facts of science. Unkind regards, Everett. 2. Dr. Everett Chalmers, from Dr. Evan Rorans. Look, I won't report you to the committee unless you pull something like that again. That being said, while I know physics isn't my strong suit, I also know that we've hit a roadblock with this project. We've learned nothing, and we're getting desperate judging by your little outburst with the field agents. I've got one last idea. The people in the Thaumaturgy Research Wing at Site-72 have cooked up this procedure they've called Merlin-184. They managed to seize some Serpent's Hand documents and reverse engineer a spell that will determine whether something is anomalous or not. I'll link the document here. Regards, Evan. Procedure Merlin-184. Requirements, a camera, five candles, red chalk, a bladed object. Step 1. Take a photograph of the object you wish to test. Step 2. 
Using the chalk, draw a question mark surrounded by a circle on the floor. The type of surface doesn't matter as long as the chalk isn't displaced by it. Step 3. Place the candles in a pentagon around the circle. Step 4. Place the photograph in the middle. Cut yourself with the bladed object and bleed on the photograph. If all steps have been followed, one of two events will occur. All candles are immediately and anomalously lit. If this occurs, the object has anomalous properties. Or, none of the candles are lit. If this occurs, the object has no anomalous properties. To Dr. Evan Rorand, from Dr. Everett Chalmers. Merlin 184, really? Is this a fantasy book now? Since when are we utilizing magic to solve our issues here? Condescending regards, Everett. To Dr. Everett Chalmers, from Dr. Evan Rorans. If you have a better idea, then I'm all ears. If you don't, then I'm messaging the department and we're gonna test this because we have nothing else to go off of. Annoyed regards, Evan. Test Log 6959C. Test 1. Procedure Merlin 184. Results. No candles are lit. Conclusion, SCP-6959 has been confirmed to possess no anomalous traits. EX classification pending. Director Rorans has requested SCP-6959 be classified as EX with further research into strange matter pending. Director Chalmers has rescinded the previous request. Director Rorans has requested SCP-6959 be classified as EX with further research into strange matter pending. Director Chalmers has again rescinded the previous request. To Dr. Evan Rorand, from Dr. Everett Chalmers. Subject, EX. There is no way we're making this thing an EX. There is absolutely no conceivable way this thing is somehow non-anomalous. It's a freaking anime plushie that came from space and is made out of strange matter. Whatever magic you use has got to be bull because I know what I'm talking about when I say this thing is anomalous. Everett. To Dr. Everett Chalmers, from Dr. Evan Rorans. There is no evidence to the contrary. Everything points to this being natural. We've detected no reality bending, no cognitive effects, none of the people we've interviewed know a thing on top of that. We used magic and it still points to a lack of anomalies. I'm going to talk directly with the O5s tomorrow about reclassifying this thing. If you have anything to say about that, you can come to my office. Best, Evan. The following was taken from a CCTV recording of Dr. Rorans' office. Date, March 23rd, 2022. Dr. Rorans is seen typing at his computer. Dr. Chalmers enters the room, looking slightly disheveled. What the heck do you think you're doing? Dr. Rorans is startled by Chalmers' sudden entry. Jesus Christ, you scared the heck out of me. What do you want? I want to know what the heck you think you're doing trying to classify 6959 as explained. Are you still upset about this? I told you already, there's no evidence to the contrary. No evidence. Have you looked at the dang thing? Here, I've got a replica right here for you. Chalmers produces a Fumo doll matching the appearance of SCP-6959. You bought one? Aren't those things $500? That's beside the point. Take a good long look at it. You're telling me this could somehow resemble something independently created out of the fusion of two neutron stars. It's the working theory with what we have. Are you serious? You're absolutely delusional. How on earth did you manage to get this job if you're capable of believing something like this? Calm down, there's no- Chalmers cuts off Rorans and begins speaking louder. Calm down? You're suggesting that this freaking anime doll somehow existed during the Big Bang. The entire creation of the universe somehow coinciding with it. We have nothing else to go off of. That's the only theory with evidence behind it. You read my email. So what then? Did Otha somehow subconsciously get influenced to create a character resembling it? Did its exact design get imprinted onto the minds of the designers? Is God pulling some sick prank on us, one so powerful and divine nothing we can do can reveal the punchline? We don't know. The ramifications of it being non-anomalous are too heavy for you to be acting so nonchalant. Were we destined to recreate it? Have we succeeded as a species now? Are you suggesting that everything we've done is pointless or something? Has every moment past the creation of the doll been a disappointment to some Toho deity? 
Is that what you're implying right now? Maybe. Both doctors pause for 30 seconds. Are you suggesting that the perfect state of matter, the result of matter that existed at the beginning of the universe, is an anime plushie? Yes? Dr. Chalmers picks up an office chair and throws it at Dr. Roran's. The doctors fight for a moment before security arrives to apprehend Chalmers. End transcript. Statement from O5 Council. Good morning. After taking into consideration the events that transpired between Dr. Rorans and Dr. Chalmers, the Council has unanimously voted to not only deny reclassification to explain for the time being, but to also refrain from releasing info regarding SCP-6959 to the public. The object will not be classified EX until it is more properly understood, and information regarding it can be conveyed in a way to prevent personnel from having an episode similar to Dr. Chalmers. Dr. Chalmers himself is currently undergoing psychiatric evaluation. He will be denied access to SCP-6959 documentation for the time being. Thank you. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, you could click over here for another video I made, or you could click over here to subscribe. And if you have any other SCP ideas that you want to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.